Hey folks, how you doing? Today I'm well. It's just gonna be a, it's gonna be actually a interesting, nice little impromptu video, you know, just to kind of chat with you a little bit and just, you know, there's a lot of things going on. It's a really interesting time. It's a really interesting time. Um, been a whole lot of conversation around eggs and the price of eggs and, you know, just different things. And um, I just wanted to just kind of appreciate some things today and just kind of have a conversation about, you know, what's the perspective from, from you know, your neck of the woods? This is the perspective from my neck of the woods. You know, what's, what's the perspective from your neck of the woods? Because we all have, you know, whatever we consider our neck of the woods to be. So, you know, let's, let's just kind of have that conversation. And, you know, it's, it's in, in every, every, every perspective is different. You know, I'm, I talk a lot about perspectives because they're very important. And what a lot of people struggle with is seeing someone else's perspective, point of view, you know, understanding, you know, like the, the episode I made a couple of weeks ago, you know, seeking first to understand and to be understood. Well, you know, you have to really take time to stop and think, you know, when you're, you know, in your neck of the woods and your peaceful time and, you know, really saying to yourself, you know, you know, being reflective, you know, whether it's rest or what have you, you know, how can I, you know, make it a point to see someone else's viewpoint, you know, and just really have that conversation with yourself, you know, because the bottom line about any of this is, 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 is awareness. Let's just be honest. Awareness is, <laughs> you know, if you're not aware of something, you'll never see it. I'm just going to be honest with you. You know, like I'm out here looking in, you know, looking in the field, looking in the woods, whatever. And, but if I'm not aware that, <laughs> you know, on the other side of that tree line there, there's actually a creek runs through there. Now, you know, initially for a long time, I didn't, I didn't know there was a creek that ran through there. You know, I had to go over there and take a look at it and, you know, do some exploring and so forth and, you know, and learn there's a creek over there. I'm like, oh, wow. And it's just run, you know, it's a, like a brook, you know, and that's where the deers go. That's because I always see the deer back over there. I'm like, they, they, they really, you know, like the Bible says, you know, you know, as the deer panted by the, by the brook, you know, <laughs> and I'm like, you know, that's really what happens over there. But I had to go, I had to intentionally, you know, make it a point to look beyond my perspective, beyond my purview to go find out what's over there. You know, it's, it had to be intentional. It wasn't by accident. There would have been, you know, there would have been no reason at all for me to accidentally go over there to find that out but you know that's what I'm saying you know we we all feel as if you know well <laughs> you know you know I'm a you know open-minded person I'm clear-minded I can you know hear things and hear other people's view you know, can you really I mean here's the thing <laughs> we all have to work at that <laughs> It's not a, it doesn't come natural. And in this day and time, it really doesn't come natural with, with, you know, eight second attention spans. Just like I'm, you know, I'm not here walking my dog right now. You know, <laughs> you know, his attention span is literally, you know, I'm talking, but he's not paying attention to me. He's, he's smelling things. He's like, you know, I really just want to run. You know, any other time I, you know, sometimes I let him run through the field there, let him run. You know, and, you know, the reason I'm not letting him run now is because it's a sunny day and he likes to chase cars. Or he'll chase people on motorcycles or bicycles. And a day like this is when, you know, somebody on our road might be on a bicycle. So he's not going to get to run like that today. So he has to be on a leash. But <laughs> he's still he's still not concerned about what I'm thinking about. His perspective and his view is focused on, you know, smelling, sniffing that ground. You know, what animal is here? You know, he's curious. You know, he's, you know, he's driven by his primal desires and functions which you know most animals are you know and most humans are that's understandable but ask yourself though this is why you know as humans as the human beings that we are that god made us to be you know, we have to stop and ask ourselves you know okay my perspective is this those around me their perspective is this okay those that i'm going to meet they're going to have a different perspective you know, those that I may meet one day out of the you know, 10,000 people that you'll know in your life, you know, there are going to be 9,999 perspectives that um, 
are not going to be yours. So you have to start to really start. This is a thinking thing. This is a, a process that you go through, that we go through, not, not just you. And say, well, you know, we go through this process of having to, you know, make it a point to become aware. What do I need to do to be aware of somebody else's point? What do I need to do to, you know, be in the mind space to hear, see or understand somebody else's perspective? You know, you have to stop and ask yourself that. And it's best to do it before you have to do it. I'm going to be honest with you. It is much, <laughs> I mean, because when you have to do it, it might not be the best time for you to have to, you know, <laughs> it might, might be the spare of the moment, might be, you know, you know, it might be an emergency situation. That's not the best time to have to have this conversation with yourself. The best time is when you're actually, you know, you know, in a rested position and, you know, you're in a peaceful state and you have time to mentally reflect on, okay, you know, this is a good time. Let me have a conversation with myself. What, you know, what is it that I need to do to be more aware of someone else's perspective, someone else's viewpoint, you know, someone else's, you know, vantage point, you know, what do I need to do? You know, or, you know, am I somebody who is very aware of, of those around me in the first place? You know, we can all be better at it if you are great, but we can all be better at it because there's a lot going on. You know, prices, you know, job losses, you know, um, um, reskilling, upskilling, you know, there's, you know, technology is, is making leaps and bounds on and on and on and on and on and on and on. So, you know, we all have a lot of things on our mind. We all have a lot of vantage points. We all have a lot of viewpoints that are very different. Even viewpoints of those that are in your life, that have been in your life for years or all your life. Now in 2023, you find yourself having different viewpoints than them because we've all grown in different ways. We've all had to do different things. You know, we, we, you know, we no longer get to do what we used to do. Case in point, you know, on a day like this, let's say 25 years ago, it would have been nothing for, you know, <clears throat> for me and my family to get a card game together, <laughs> excuse me, to get a card game together and, and, you know, or even a board game or something. And, and you know, it's a Saturday, you know, let's get a card game going. Would have been nothing for that to happen today. <laughs> it would be nearly impossible, nearly impossible to get a, a card game going or, or, you know, a board game going with the same set individuals. And it's not just me. It's not just, you know, those around me, you know, everybody's experiencing this. So, I mean, this is, you know, life has changed. You know, we're not doing, you know, the dog is pulling my camera. So bear with me, <laughs> you know, and, you know, Mr. Buddy he wants to have it his way, but you know, life is, is moving at a different clip than ever in the history of man. And we have to understand that that's a, that's a that's a, a major, you know, viewpoint shift. You know what I'm saying? That's occurred with all of us. See, we're all in the same boat here. There is not a human being on Earth right now that has not gone through major changes in the past, you know, few years. Major changes, major changes. I mean, if, unless they weren't born yet, you know, they <laughs> they have gone through major changes. And so we're all in this together. So with that being said, you know. What's your viewpoint? What's somebody else's viewpoint? What's the other person's perspective? You know, like I say, this is my perspective right now. You know, later on, it'll be different. You know, it'll be, you know, colder. It'll be dark. <laughs> you know, you know, the same perspective that I have now will shift. You know, there'll be animals out here, you know, whether it be, you know, coyotes, you know, foxes, what have you, you know, deer, you know, every, you know, every, you know, I'm, I'm really... I'm in a place now where I really get to say, see things happen seasonally. And so I know, you know, that, you know, this time of year, you know, the main birds that we'll see are, you know, we might see an eagle out here. Now, when it warms up, you won't see any eagles. You'll see um, turkey buzzards and you'll see all manner of other flying um, um, animal, but you won't see any eagles, you know, and so forth and so on. You know, 
but you start to understand the <laughs> the course of nature is shifts you know you'll see some wild turkeys and so forth like right now you won't see any wild turkeys you know i don't know where they go this time of year i don't know probably hibernating whatever i'm still learning you know i'm not <laughs> you know i'm not i'm not all the way up on my nature yet I'm, I'm learning every year a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more but that's my perspective and that's my view and it's new for me it's new for me and almost you know you know i'll be 49 years old this year and this is all new for me you know this is all new for me i've lived in i was born in colorado springs i've lived in virginia you know and i've lived in indiana for the last you know 38 years you know but there's been a lot of new for me and my perspective has shifted you know and it's had to shift you know just like a lot of people but i'm gonna say this though because what's interesting is my perspective has shifted a lot. Your perspective may have shifted a lot. But there's a lot of people whose perspectives never shift because they never have to. So just, you know, this would be a, you know, a nice little, nice little video for you today. Check it out. Let's talk to you later. God bless you. And say, well, we'll catch you on the next one. Maybe make sure to do me a favor. Subscribe and like this um, video. Talk to you later.